and is over running room with Joro. I'm from the PE class 3. And we have 2120302104. Hello, my name is Nabila Amanda Putri. I'm from PBE class 3 and PM 2140302132. Once upon time in the Sultanate of Jambi, the Sultan had three servants. Mahmud, the first one was in charge of the armed force. Taher, the second one, was the Sultan's most trusted messenger. The third servant, Abdul, took care of the Sultan's care. One day, the Sultan summoned all three servants. This is unusual, Abdul took. Maybe the Sultan is finally going to recognize my potential? Will he now assign me a very important task? A villager also presents himself to the Sultan saying, A tiger has promoted our village and attacked our cattle. The Sultan turned to his servant. Who can stop this tiger from attacking? I can handle the tiger, Abdul proposed. I know about cats, but... The Sultan shook his head. Mahmud will handle it better. He is the strongest one. Abdul was upset. Mahmud knew nothing about big cats. Mahmud entered the jungle confidently by himself. When there was no sign of him after seven days, the Sultan sent two soldiers to find him. The soldiers found Mahmud badly wounded. The Sultan asked the healer to take care of him. That picket just wants to be Kodal Sultan, Abdul said. Let me handle him. No, the Sultan said. I will send smart Tahir. Abdul frowned to him. Tahir was just a sweet talker. Tahir made plans. He and his guards set up several traps in the jungles. But the tiger was too strong for Tahir. It wanted him and his guard. Abdul begged the Sultan to give him a chance with the tiger. Finally, having no other choice, the Sultan relented. Abdul set off to the jungle the next day. He was determined to prove his competence. He walked for half a day, but the tiger was nowhere to be found. By midday, Abdul felt hungry, so he climbed a tree to get some durians to eat. When he looked down at the ground, there was the big cat Abdul was looking for. Hello, Abdul shouted. Excited, he waved his hand and dropped a big durian. The tiger roared and shook the tree. Stop it, tiger, stop! Otherwise, more durian will fall and hurt you, Abdul shouted. But the tiger shocked even harder. His stubbornness reminded Abdul of the Sultan's cat at the village. Okay, let me get you the biggest durian. Perhaps you like to test it. So, Abdul found the biggest durian, but then he dropped that one too. Abdul waited for a minute, but the tiger was motionless. Abdul called. He hadn't meant to hurt the tiger, but... Wasn't this his golden opportunity? If he managed to take the tiger to the village, the Sultan would be proud of him. Abdul tried to carry the tiger to the village, but the tiger was too heavy for him to carry. 